Talking to Richard Hendricks in here this morning in the studios of ZTV 11. Good to see you again. Good to be here. Graduate of Athens State, I mean Athens State, Athens High School in 2005. A superstar at Athens, went on to University of Alabama. I guess most people will know, what are you doing now? I'm still playing ball, but in the off seasons, in the summertime, uh, I get a chance to come back home and just do a little relaxing. Relaxing? You just got through speaking this morning to Athens Middle. I did. In front of 500 kids. You were there, what, 17 years ago? I was. Uh, it was crazy to walk back in those halls and realize that I've been there 17 years ago to address kids that, that were not even born <laughs> at the time that I was in Athens Middle School. I was truly honored to be back just to, to share a moment with them. What do you say to them? Well, what I say to the kids at Athens Middle School is that um, because of all the people who have come through Athens and Athens Middle School and Athens High School, uh, that those people have laid a foundation that gave me an opportunity to be what I am today. And um, you have to have pride in Athens, have pride in Athens Middle School. And when you come through this transitional period in your life, just uh, set your goals high as you move forward. And I could tell each and every one of those kids there that I could relate to them in one way or another. All right. You're playing basketball now. Russia or where, where are you stationed? I finished this past year in Israel. And um, I started in Spain. And over the years, I've played in um, Spain, Israel, Italy, and Russia over the last seven years. They still play with a round ball over there? Or is there any difference? <laughs> the, I mean, the game's the same everywhere you go. I mean, you know, when you get on the basketball court, regardless of the language barrier, regardless of... Uh, you know, any of the factors, when the, when the ball is tossed up, it's the same game. What are you, 29? 29 years old. What is your life expectancy in this sort of game? Well, um, depending on how good of shape you keep your body in, I think that... Uh, and looking what, at you, you got another 20 years. <laughs> I'd like to. I think when you start to hit 30, that you can honestly say you're probably on the back nine, to be honest. Uh, you know, so I, have, I feel like I have some really good years ahead of me and in front of me, but at the same time, I know that um, it's possible that I might have less in front of me than I have behind. You're married, got a son. Yes. Live outside of Nashville when you home. I guess that's what you call it. So you get like two and a half months off? Well, Athens is my home. You right. know, when I come home in the off season, I, you know, I, I ultimately live out of a suitcase, <laughs> you know, everywhere I go. So I um, always get a chance to come back to Athens to see people. Uh, and travel all around and just enjoy my off season seeing friends and family. Now, wh when you're in Athens, do you shoot any basketball? Of course. When I uh, you play with your dad or what? No. I, well, you he, cheat? he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. Foul too much? Yeah. Oh, he, well, he's always going to set up the game where he wins. Oh, know? okay. So, he's a coach. Yeah. So uh, I can't play with him at all. So I stopped that a long time ago. But, you know, I try to stay in a lot of shape, stay in good shape in the off season because obviously being a professional athlete, that's my job. And the most important thing, asset to you as a professional athlete is your body. So when I come home in the off season, I like to stay in shape. I like to stay in rhythm. And, uh, you know, when I'm visiting, you might can catch me outside shooting two shots. Now, when you're playing in Russia and Israel, what type of fans, kind of, are they sold out games and are people into basketball over there? Very much so. You know, I've been very fortunate throughout my career that I've played for some high-level teams. And with those high-level teams comes high expectations and uh, a huge fan base. You know, so I've played for teams that have won championships in Europe and uh, win championships in their particular country. Uh, abroad, so um, there's a huge fan base, huge following, and everywhere you go, uh, people have high expectations for you. What are some of your fondest memories of playing uh, basketball at Athens? I guess you went to Kitty Carnival too as a kid. <laughs> I've been everywhere. You know, <laughs> like I said earlier, I was telling the kids in the in the middle school. You know, I can relate to each and every one of these. So anything that anyone's done in Athens, I, I've done it myself. When you call it quits. You're still going to be mighty young. What are you going to do? I don't know yet. You know, um, I've always figured that I would like to be around the game in some fashion. Athletics has always been a part of my blood as well as education. So um, in some shape, form, or fashion, I would like to, you know, put that all together. Uh, in the meantime, I'm definitely aware that the ball is going to stop bouncing at some point in my life. But for right now, I'm still focusing on trying to be the best basketball player I can be. As you take Athens with you everywhere you go and you talk about Athens, you're about to, you know, you've got, what, two or three years left in this. Athens is always home then. Always. 
always. Uh, that's the message that I always share. You know, everywhere I go and someone asks me where I'm from, I do not hesitate to say that Athens, Alabama is where I'm from. All right, last question I'll ask you. In all your successful career at Athens, University of Alabama, by the way, roll tide. <laughs> roll tide. What is the biggest regret you have about what you've done? Biggest regret? The biggest regret and thing that eats me up in my entire athletic career is um, that I was not able to help bring a state championship home to Athens. Really? You know, it's of all the games, of all the championships, all of the stages that I've played on, the biggest regret and the biggest thing that I wish I could get back is another shot at the state tournament and to win a, a state championship for Athens High School. I think we worked so hard. We had some of the best teams that they've ever had. We've made it the furthest that anyone has ever. Oh, yeah. But we did I was not, there. <laughs> we didn't bring home the, the, the trophy. So, um, you know, it's something that, that bothers me, and especially to do it with, with all of your friends that you grew up with in this small town. I think it would have been sweet. You started four years in a row. Yeah, I did. And, Probably uh, the coach's fault. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it on him. <laughs> Richard, thank you. Thank you. Wish you the best. Great to see you.